Today I want to share with you my top five favorite Usborne fiction books for infants through toddlers. So I absolutely love Usborne books. Now it is a direct sales company, but I do not sell them. Part of the reason I don't sell them is because I love them so much. I've got some friends that sell them and so I enjoy being able to host a party every now and then and help them out in their business, share them with friends, and then earn lots of free books for myself. So doing that and then helping other friends parties out here and there, I've accumulated quite a bit. And today I want to share with you my top five favorite fiction books. Now, my kids are preschool age and toddler, so that's kind of the age range that I'm at right now. Um, I don't really have much of the fiction books for the older kids. There's lots of chapter series books um, and a lot of other things that we haven't just got to yet. So let's get started. All right, my first one is this cute little nursery rhymes book. My kids love reading out of this book. It's got really cute illustrations, a lot of popular nursery rhymes and so this is one that we go through at night and we sing these songs and now even if we don't have the book we still sing the songs anyway so that's a super fun one for even the youngest of kids my next one it is getting quite worn which side note Usborne has a 50% replacement policy so if I want to I could replace this book for half the original cost so um, this is big book of little stories. This is one that we read at bedtime a lot. We let the kids pick stories out of here and they're not too long, lots of illustrations. So you've got things like Little Red Riding Hood, The Wind in the Willows, Ant and the Grasshopper, Three Little Pigs, Gingerbread Man, Goldilocks, and Pinocchio. A lot of different stuff in here. And so this is a really good book, really nice bound book with a bookmark. And so these are just really neat. I'll show you just a little bit of the illustrations. And they're all different. This one is an example of Three Little Pigs. This is the illustrations for Gingerbread Man, The Dinosaur Who Lost His Roar, Goldilocks, and Pinocchio. So that's just a little snapshot of that. But lots of stories in there, really great for bedtime. This next one is a very special book that I don't let my kids play with like they do with the others, but it's one that I enjoy reading to them as well. It is the Illustrated Nursery Rhymes book, and this one comes in a case, beautiful book, and tons and tons of rhymes in here. And the illustrations all are just absolutely beautiful. So this is one of those very special, you know, gift books, make a good baby shower gift. So it's just a beautiful book and one that I'm really glad we've been able to add to our collection. The next one we're moving into as my son is getting a little bit older and it's more in the illustrated stories line. There's other ones like illustrated adventure stories, um, fables from around the world. There's several in this category. And some of them have more words than pictures. Some of them have more pictures. Just kind of vary so that there's different ones for different age levels. So this one, you've got classic stories like Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, Frog Prince, Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, Swan Princess, Emperor's New Clothes, a lot of good ones and this one I really like this one for the age that we're at because it does have pictures on every page and there's not a lot of text some of the ones that we'll get into as he gets a little bit older are more um, more heavy on the words and a little less on the pictures so that you can get more detailed with the story but this is one that he's really enjoying right now so that's kind of the next step from the big book of little stories this last one is a little bit more for pre-K and kindergarten early readers, but I had to include it in this one. And they've got three, I think, that are in this category. This one is Ted and Friends. 
And I picked this one because this is the one with the Stephen Cartwright illustrations. And his illustrations are just really cute. And so I wanted to have a whole book of his. And these are great for kids learning to read. Um, each story has rhymes. And this one, I really like it because the pages also will fold out as the story continues. And so this will be a really neat one as we get more into starting to read and just having a good collection of these. Normally, each individual story is like, I think $8 in just a paperback, but you can get a whole set for $20. And as you can see, it's got a CD to read along with and it's got lots of stories. So it's a really good deal financially as well. So that's what I've got for my fiction books that are my favorite right now. As we get older, that will be growing and we'll get into some higher level stories, story books, but I wanted to share those with you. And if you're interested in more Usborne books, comment below, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like it, and we'll be looking at some more stuff coming up soon. Thanks. What's the horse say? What's the chicken say? What's the pig say? What's the pig say? What's the sheep say? What about the puppy? No, the puppy. What about the cow? Who made the animals?